Voters in Flint have been voicing concerns all evening as several of the city's precincts changed or moved due to redistricting. Tonight, some voters say they didn't know their longtime place to vote had changed. A lot of them frustrated residents telling ABC 12 they had to quickly figure out where their new polling location was in order to cast their ballots. Our Tiffany Maddox spoke with a few residents who were upset today. She's live in Flint with more and Tiffany you spoke with one voter who said she was turned away at a place they had voted for for 20 years. Yes, I did. And that resident said that they were surprised and upset that they had to pivot so quickly as they were ready to vote at where they were supposed to vote, but had to pivot to change. Now, the video that you're going to see right now that should come up on your screen is happening actually right now here at Flint City Hall. You have volunteers that are checking all those ballots and counting ballots here, and that's been happening since polls close at 8 o'clock. Now, Flint reduced the number of voting precincts to 54 from 54 to 29 after results from the 2020 census, which showed the city had lost more than 20% of its population. Now, I spoke with Flint City Clerk Davina Donahue earlier. She says the city sent notices out to register voters around the beginning of the year about changes in precincts and polling locations. One resident I did speak with earlier says she never received a notice and went to her normal longtime polling location only to find nobody was there. They didn't tell me anything, nobody was there. So there was nobody where you, There was where you literally know nobody there. I think it's the responsibility of our local officials to let us know exactly where we're supposed to go, eliminate any barriers that are out here so that we can have our equal voices heard. Now, of course, polls close at 8 o'clock, but there are different avenues that you can take to find out where your polling location is, who your clerk is in your city or township. Of course, you can go to Michigan Information Center that can help you locate those those uh, answers for you. And hopefully, you know, some people were able to get that help today. But of course, reporting live in Flint, Tiffany Maddox, ABC 12 News.